Welcome. Chronic shoulder problems, motion restriction, adhesive capsulitis, bursitis, tendonitis. The bottom line is you're having pain. The condition is staying chronic. So what do you do? These particular stretches are most important. Without increasing mobility, you'll never have function. Once you start increasing mobility, then we start breaking down adhesions, scar tissue, and other things that are inhibiting your body to repair and heal. The most beautiful thing about these exercises, you can start right now at home without anything invasive. No needles, no surgery, no drugs, nor anything that's gonna harm you. But remember, the most important thing is increasing mobility, and that's what we wanna do. Let's get started. First thing, take your palm of your hand, put it against the doorway, because we're gonna be working right in the doorways now. That's how we're gonna do all our rehabilitative stretches. Hand on the doorway and pull away. As you pull away, you're going to stretch the pectoralis muscles. Pectoralis muscle is attaching in the front of the shoulder. So all these stretches are going to be stretching of particular muscles and tendons, all attaching in the shoulder in different areas. The next exercise is going to be our bicep, bicep uh, chronic conditions of bicep tendonitis. Uh, tendonitis of the bicep that attaches in the front of the shoulder as well. So we were originally here for the chest, now we're just going to go 90 degrees. Put our thumb side up against here, a little bit of the back of the little bit of the front of the hand, just like this. And as you stretch, you'll stretch more of the bicep muscle. Hold that a good 45 seconds. Excellent stretch for the biceps. This next stretch is going to be the latissimus dorsi. Again, it attaches up underneath the shoulder unit. Just take your elbow against the wall, okay? And just kind of lean into it. You can back your hands on the back of your head and lean into the elbow. You'll see, right, this whole muscle underneath as you lean into the arm, it all stretches and opens up. Great, great stretch. You'll feel the whole area open up. Actually help you stand up straighter, make you breathe easier, and take a lot of stress off those back muscles as they continue to stretch. Another great exercise for the chest, but working different muscles, bilaterally, 90 degrees with our elbows in a doorway, and just leaning into that doorway, opening up that chest muscle. Hold it there a good 45 seconds and breeze through it as you continue to stretch forward more and more and more. Great stretch. So again, coming behind the back of the shoulder in the same position here, just grab your elbow, bring it all the way over and hold that. What you could also do after about 45 seconds, bring the elbow up and push it up and you'll feel the muscle stretch more underneath the back of the shoulder. And you can actually take the elbow and bring it down and you'll feel the stretch a little bit higher up on the shoulder. Okay, so we got three stretches going across and holding it. You get a nice stretch in there. Coming up, holding it, and coming down, holding it. So all those stretches are gonna help regain mobility in the shoulder area and help you feel a whole lot better. So these stretches start immediately. These stretches are safe. Never do a stretch if it's hurting you, if you're having pain or inflammation. I recommend that if the condition continues to linger on and any type of problem, always follow up with medical uh, guidance to rule out any type of significant other problems like dislocations or anything more severe. But these stretches, I believe, will make a huge change in your health, in your mobility, and in the future for your healing. Leave your messages below. Please share this video. And most important, make it a great day. I'm Dr. Alan Mandel.